In this module, we will review how to download, link, and use a Tenable I.O. web application scanner internally. Tenable I.O. provides the use of our cloud-based web application scanners to customers who own a subscription of Tenable I.O.'s web application scanning. But for customers who need to scan behind a web application firewall, scan internal facing applications such as CMS or HR applications, or for those looking to perform scans while their applications are in development or in their SDLC, you must deploy a scanner internally to perform these scans. To get started, let's navigate to the menu bar by clicking on the three horizontal lines up in the top left-hand corner. Navigate down to Settings, and then select Sensors in the bottom left. The default page for sensors will bring you to the Nessus agents. To link a web application scanner, select WAS. Then, in the top right-hand corner, select Add WAS. Sliding in from the right, you are now presented with a pane giving the high-level steps for linking your web application scanner. Let's run through them real quick, and I'll add some helpful notes along the way. The first step is to follow the WAS download page. A note when you've navigated to the downloads page, you'll need to be successfully authenticated to the Tenable downloads page if you plan to download the Tenable I.O. web app scanning core appliance. Once you have logged in successfully, you will see three files, a .zip for Hyper-V, a .ova for VMware, as well as a .iso version of the WAS core appliance. Since I will be deploying in VMware, I will be selecting to download the .ova. One last note before I deploy the scanner are the hardware resources required. Each web application scanner can scan up to four websites concurrently. In order to perform these scans, each web application scanner will also require four 2 GHz cores processing, 16 gigs of memory for RAM, and then 25 gigs of storage for the hard drive. After you have downloaded and deployed the Tenable I.O. WAS Core Appliance, you will need to open up the console and log in. The username is wizard, all lowercase, and the password is admin, again, all lowercase. If you do not have DHCP enabled, you will need to give it a static IP address. However, if you do have DHCP enabled, then you will be able to go straight to the user interface. I will briefly run through the static IP address setup. You will key over to the right to edit, and then you will down key, changing automatic under IPv4 configuration to manual, and then selecting show. Scroll down to IP addresses, as well as gateway DNS servers, search domains, and then at the very bottom, probably the most commonly missed portion, is to select Require IPv4 Addressing for this connection. Remember to hit the space bar here. Since I have DHCP enabled, I will select Cancel. However, if you are selecting an IP address to set statically, you will press OK to save. Once you have saved, you can go down to Quit. Now that we are here, we should go ahead and create our admin level account. Create something simple. And then for a password, you will be required to select a complex password. And then you will type it in once more for confirmation. Now again, it will let us know where we can find the management interface. If the networking has all been properly configured, you should be greeted by a certificate error. This is because the certificate is self-signed. You can keep it like this or add in your own certificate later if desired. We are going to proceed as is. Now we will just type in that username and password which we created in the previous step. Then we will also want to select Reuse My Password for Privileged Tasks. Select Login at this point. Once logged in, you will want to navigate over to the Web Application Scanner tab on the left-hand side. Now we will need to grab our linking key. In order to grab the linking key, go back to your Tenable I.O. instance on the same page where we left it and select Copy. Head back to the Web Application Scanner Appliance Interface and paste here. Now you'll want to give your scanner a scanner name. Give it a meaningful name. For example, if this is on my laptop, I would want to call this my Laptop Web App Scanner. Now I'll select Activate Scanner, 
And if I have a proxy configured, you'll see that setting here available. You can see it immediately was successful. If the scanner comes up with an error message there, it is most likely due to a firewall or proxy setting. Please open up outbound on cloud.tenable.com 443 from the scanner's IP address or configure the scanner to go through the proxy. If that does not work, please contact technical support. Now to confirm we are linked, let's head back to Tenable.io and refresh our page. And voila, I can see that my web app scanner has been linked successfully and it is now online.